catch I've got to. Um, this, I represent the NAACP. Is there anyone from National Council of Negro Women here? You want to come up here, Dr. Blake Richardson? Um, NAACP meets once a month, Mondays at 7 o'clock. And um, PM or PM? PM. Mm -hmm. PM. And we also have, about every two years, we have an installation ceremony. We've been meeting there since I've been involved for 12 years. Um, the branch has been meeting there for, I think, 17. So this is an integral part of black history in Valdosta. And the NAACP, just like every other group here, um, we donate to the library boosters and we support the library boosters because we feel that this is an integral part of our community, the Southside Library, and we want to support and help it in every way. And um, when we've had our installation ceremonies, Judge Council has been there. Um, other judges in the community have been there. I mean, this has been, those have been held on Saturdays, and they let us bring food in, but we are like what Mr. Jenkins was talking about. We sweep, we clean, we make sure that we leave the facility in better shape than we found it. And we're very cognizant about that key and about what that means. But I hope everybody here understands that the main library is totally shut off and everything is locked. And the only part that we're talking about is um, the meeting room and bathrooms. So I'm just asking if there's any way that we can accommodate some kind of new policy so that this remains a community center for engagement. We want to keep supporting the library boosters, but it's going to be hard to do that if, we, if, if people start feeling like we've been kicked out of a place that we've, we really have tried to do everything we could. And if you can come up with something like, you know, charge us a minimal fee that would go to having a, I don't know, a, a, a security person there or something. I mean, there's got to be a way that we can work this out. And, um, 